my name is Ted Forbes. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. I live in Dallas, Texas, and I'm probably most known for the show that I do on YouTube called The Art of Photography. Welcome to The Art of Photography YouTube channel. This is the premier place on YouTube for all things photography related. I do want to take a look at the Canon G5X and talk a little bit about working with the A7S II. I come from a very artistic family. My dad is an illustrator. My mom was an interior designer and my sister's a graphic designer. So I grew up around a very artistic household. The only way for me to rebel against some of that was, was doing music. And I started getting into jazz music and classical music and I eventually went to the University of North Texas. Graduated in 95 or so. And around that time, the tech boom was really taking off. And I got an opportunity to work um, as a musician uh, for a company that was designing music software. That exposed me to the technology side that was um, just booming in the 1990s. And at the time, I really wanted to do video work, mainly because of that passion for film scoring. And back then, I mean, it was very expensive to get into video. I freelanced for several years doing graphic design and mainly uh, digital media, doing motion work. And around 2008, um, I had the opportunity, a position opened up at the Dallas Museum of Art. And the museum wanted to move into a different direction with multimedia. Uh, and they wanted to start incorporating video and stuff that was more episodic in nature so they could try to develop an audience doing that. But what I really needed was a project to do that I could mess up on and make all the mistakes. So I started doing the photography show that I do today, The Art of Photography. I put this stuff together, put it online, and before I knew it, I was getting emails. People would like actually look me up and or find me on Twitter. And they'd, hey, I like your show, blah, blah, blah. And it was really interesting, so I just kept doing it. And eventually, the museum sent me to London. Um, I was speaking at um, Tate Modern um, about cell phone technology. And I noticed that, you know, on my stats that I had all these people like hitting my website from the UK. So I thought, well, what if I do a meetup? And I remember I was so nervous and I was like, what if nobody's there? I came around the corner and there's like 13 people there and they're all like running over and say, hey, how you doing? And it was like immediately so cool. If you have a YouTube channel or you do anything online and you look at your analytics, you see numbers. It's just data on a screen. And then when I met 13 people face to face and became friends with them, it was a completely different thing. And I think that was the turning point when I really got serious about doing the show. This is a new studio that I've been in for almost two months now, so it's very recent. The stuff that I do covers still photography, video work, and then also I do music work. And so my studio needs to be an area that will let me easily kind of jump back and forth between those things when I'm sitting at the computer editing. For video work, um, the lights are all daylight balanced. Little things you can do for lighting that are amazing is first of all, make sure every bulb is the same brand, color, temperature, everything. Uh, don't even mix brands and get that consistent. And then the other thing I did is is the, uh, the China Globe. I've got two printers, one's just an office printer and the other one's uh, my nicer Epson. And then the camera shelf, which I will admit was very Casey Neistat inspired, um, has LEDs and the whole idea is that when you put a camera down, <laughs> there's a place to recharge the battery. And I did a video recently on the Holger, which is probably my favorite camera. I just tend to like the organic quality of cheap film cameras. Um, I also have some 35 millimeter Nikons. I have my Hasselblads down here that I love for if you want a really sharp image. But it's interesting because I also have a ton of digital cameras. I love point and shoots. Um, they're not the ultimate camera. I still have to use a DSLR. Like, you know, this is the right tool for the right job. The music stuff, I also use a combination of things. Either I use, you know, organic sounds like the synthesizer, sometimes they're found sounds or sampled things. Um, the other thing I will do is I still play guitar and everything I do is kind of ambient and loop based and that's just, um, you know, some of my favorite musicians were, you know, progressive people like David Torn and uh, Robert Fripp and that were experimenting a lot in the 70s and 80s with um, ambient sound and looped layering. And so the whole idea is uh, with the Strymon units that I have over there, you have a delay pedal. Basically, it's like hitting record on a tape deck and you record one part into it and then stop it and then whatever it recorded, it just loops over and over and then you can start to overdub on top of that. And what's really cool with the Strymon stuff is then you can flip things backwards and you can take it up or down 
down an octave and you can speed it up and you can slow it down. And so it has all these options that you can do with layering sound like that. But the last thing I'll do is, uh, you know, what it you know, is very conventional with just basic sampling an audio track and cutting it up and slicing it up and putting it with a drum groove and moving on. And so for that, I just use basic MIDI inputs. I keep a folder of all my stuff and I'll use GarageBand and Logic because sometimes GarageBand is just quick if you have an idea. It's not a great program, but it, it works. Um, so I have folders for Logic documents and GarageBand documents and I just keep song ideas in there all the time. And it's just a loop. I just took four bars of music there. And then, okay, what can we do with this to start bringing other elements in? So you bring in another part from the track and I'm keeping them over the same beat. And the flute happens to work with the piano in here. Between photography and then all the video work that I do, uh, it's something that it's kind of mine now, and the mess of all that is that's something that I can just do for fun. A lot of times, you know, it's like, well, you know, creative burnout or whatever, the ideas aren't flowing, and what you can do to come up with those. So musically, uh, one of the things that I'll do is, you know, just with what people do with sampling is just go record a track off of Spotify with using Paizo or something, and then get it in there and cut it up and see what you can do with it. we're seeing right now is the creative business and it's been doing this since I think the 90s but it's going under a tremendous change. We have so much today with the internet and with what you can do. If you're a musician, like what I would do if I were just getting out of college right now, is you know go get a SoundCloud account and tweet and Facebook and share your music with as many people as possible. A lot of people used to look at that as giving your work away, but that's not how it is anymore. It is free PR. But you also have to start those conversations and I think that's the disconnect that, that a lot of people don't get. Um, they put their work up, they put their time into it, but then they don't reach out. As a creator, um, you really have no excuse anymore. I mean, you can make something and put it out. that episode of Creative Spaces TV. Thank you so much for watching. March is the month of Creative Spaces TV, so you can expect new episodes every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. along with the added video day on Thursday. So I will now see you guys every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'm excited about it. Make sure to check out Ted. He is an amazing filmmaker and photographer and runs an awesome YouTube channel where he is hosting the Artist Series in the next month. You are gonna be able to hear from the most amazing photographers across the entire world. So thank you again for tuning in. I will see you guys on Thursday. I will see you next Tuesday for another episode of Creative Spaces TV. And I just wanna say thank you again for all the positivity, for all the love in the past week. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.